Hey everybody, Matt and Dagmar Anderson here with the Viewfinder Center, coming to you with a little autofocus tip that we think will really improve your ability to photograph fast moving subjects like birds and other wildlife. Okay, so before we get into talking about autofocus tracking, it's important to realize that whichever camera you have, whether it's Sony or Canon or Nikon, um, you have two major branches of your autofocus system. There's the autofocus setup, which is preferred when your subject's not moving around. This would be portrait situations, architectural shots, landscape photos, these sorts of scenarios, or um, the type of autofocus which is better suited to moving subjects, sports, wildlife, etc. They call um, the first mode AFS for single focus. Imagine that you're, you're shooting a portrait shot, the person's not moving towards you or away from you, you only need to initiate the autofocus once to achieve a nice sharp picture. Continuous focus would be the other mode where you have a subject that may be closing in towards your camera or moving further away, and this continuous mode updates the focus distance as you track that action. Okay, so these are sort of the two major branches, but now what we're gonna talk about is this autofocus tracking. Okay, maybe you can relate to this. Sometimes when you're shooting pictures of birds or other things that are moving very quickly, it's difficult to keep that subject in the exact same position in your viewfinder. They're moving very quickly. In some cases, your subject can end up a little bit off to the left or right, um, behind your autofocus point or in front of it. And we need sometimes a little bit of help keeping that autofocus point on top of the subject as we track along and photograph. That's where autofocus tracking really comes in because the camera actually releases the autofocus point and allows it to wander around and detect where the subject is in the shot. Let's grab a camera and we're gonna head down the lake to Rappersville where we've got some great bird subjects to point the camera at and we'll see how all this autofocus tracking works. I actually prefer to leave my camera in this mode most of the time um, in anticipation of uh, a moving subject. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait for the next bird to fly by and get him into my, my shot and activate this focus and keep my, that button held halfway down the whole while as I track and move the lens to keep up with the subject. So I started with my autofocus point in the middle as you can see in these first two shots and that worked pretty well. The bird's head provided some pretty good contrast for the autofocus system. Then I saw another guy coming towards me, and in this case, the autofocus point skipped up to the left-hand part of my viewfinder, picking up some contrast in the bird's wing. Eventually, he got closer to me, and it worked its way back down towards the middle, finding some good contrast in the bird's uh, face, which is where I prefer it to be. As he started to get closer, he started turning, and you notice here that my autofocus point ended up on his feet which isn't really ideal. They're further away than his face. And so a couple of these shots ended up being a bit back focused. You can see here that the AF point wandered back towards his wing. I got lucky on my last shot here. There was some good contrast in his feet, which gave my AF point something to lock onto. And conveniently, that's about the same distance away as his face. We hope you found that tip useful. Get out there and practice yourself. And if you guys like this tip, please give us a subscribe below. We'll come back to you with some more tips very soon. Thanks for watching.